Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Nastasia, and today we are talking about anger. <laughs> well, specifically being angry at God, and kind of like, is it okay? Um, is this normal? Can I still be a Christian and be angry at God? What that kind of looks like, and um, just like all of that jazz, because I think it's something that is not really talked about as much as it should be and also something that a lot of people assume on their own um, and they usually assume it in moments when they're in high emotional turmoil or something and anyway so I want to talk about it today. I have hair just like in my mouth coming from somewhere. Ugh. But before I get into it, if you end up liking this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss out on a video every time I post. My Instagram is right here and um, I post daily devotionals on there. They're also on my little highlight stickers, what are they called? Highlight things on my profile for if you want to see all the past ones that I've done, all the past devotionals. Um, and yeah, go see me on there. I do all my behind the scenes of my life over there. So let's get into it. So I have heard about a lot of people who um, maybe they had a really bad relationship or a bad experience, I should say, with the church they grew up with, grew up with, grew up in, or maybe a family member who was a Christian or somebody at their school that was a Christian that bullied them or something and it really turned them off from Christ. Or maybe you're going through something where somebody in your family is really sick or you're really sick or um, a friend is or a sudden death or something really tragic happens um, and the only one you can think to blame is God because it's nobody's fault really except for God's in your eyes. Um, that could be it. Or maybe it's just you've always had such a bad picture of any kind of religion in your life that you hate all of it. So there could be different categories. Those are just a couple. Um, but I've noticed those really frequently um, among a lot of Christians or people who grew up Christians or whatever. And I tend to see that a lot of them think that because they're angry at God, there's kind of no way out, I guess. Um, what I mean by that is, I have had people in my life who they love, love, love Jesus, but they're going through a season where they, they just don't understand what he's doing, or they're very mad, they're, you know, whatever, and because of that, they think their, either their salvation is shot, or that they just have never trusted God enough that they are a bad person, that God doesn't love them because they're upset at him, um, different things like that. I've also had friends who they um, didn't know Jesus, but they kind of had an idea about God, but they were really mad at him for X, Y, Z, and through that, God showed up. So I want to talk about those today. First of all, I do think it is okay to be mad at God. Um, now, I have to, I have to draw a line and be careful with this. Um, remember this is, this is from my opinion what I know of scripture and what I have learned through theology. But God is not intimidated by your fear, your anger, anything you could bring to the table. He's not intimidated by you. He is God. He is more powerful than you. He is more powerful than any emotion you could ever feel. Anything you throw at him will not hurt him, okay? He is God. However, there's a certain amount of respect. I mean, God deserves all the respect, obviously. More respect than we could ever give him. But when it comes down to it, he wants a relationship with you. So I always try to think of it in terms of a real, like a family here on earth, like a father here on earth. Um, like a healthy father, a good family unit, if their son or daughter was really mad at them about something, they probably wouldn't just up and abandon their child, you know? Um, it would hurt them, but it would kind of also mean that that child cares enough at least about the parent to be mad at them. Because the opposite of love is not hate, the, in my opinion. The opposite of love is indifference. The opposite of love is nothing. 
a void of any kind of feeling, I believe, is the opposite of love. Um, and with that, if a parent, like if a kid runs away, or if they never hear from their child again, if their child wants nothing to do with them, couldn't care less about them, that would hurt me more. I'm, I haven't been a parent yet, but that would destroy me. I feel like if somebody or a child or something was mad at me, I could, there's still a chance there, you know? Like, I still, they care enough that they're upset, that they, they might not understand what I'm doing. Um, but if a child just gets up and walks away and is like, I don't need you, I don't care. That, in my opinion, that would hurt me more. And I think it's that way too with the father. He can handle you, your anger, he can handle your sadness, he can handle your joy, everything. You're never too much, you're always enough for him in through the eyes of Jesus. Um, because our sinful nature, we're never enough. But because Jesus died for our sin, if we accept him in our heart, God sees us through the lens of looking through Jesus at us. Um, so that being said, God can handle anger, but he wants you to talk to him about it. He wants to hear it. He wants you to say, God, I don't understand this. Why would you give my mom Alzheimer's? Why would you give my friend cancer? Why would you let my dog get hit by a car? I don't know anything. Why would you how, why would you let me lose my job, lose my kids, lose whatever? Because in those moments, there's not really anyone to blame specifically. And there's this stigma that if God is all good and all knowing, why does he let this happen? And it can be really easy to put the blame on God. Now, God is always good and is always sovereign. And we have no reason to ever be mad at him, okay? But what I'm saying is, if you are, tell him. Tell him that you're mad and you wanna know why. You don't, you, you want him close to you. You don't wanna feel this way anymore. I mean, read the Psalms. I feel like David, in a lot of those Psalms that he wrote, one of them would be all happy and joyful and I love you, Lord, and the next one would be, why are you doing this to me? Um, and it's in the Holy Word. You know, there were times where Job, even though he withstood, even though he trusted God, even though he had crappy friends, he still said, like, why are you doing this thing? What did I ever do? And while it was all for a reason, and God redeems it all in the end, he will always, always redeem what is in his will. Um, like, he will always, he loves his children. He gives the best for, for his children and to glorify him. So, yes, it will make sense one day if you keep looking for that answer of, okay, God, I want to know what you're doing in this. But sometimes you, you, you aren't going to be happy. And here's the thing. I believe you can be angry and joyful. Now let me explain why I think that. I think you can be angry at the circumstances. You can say, God, I don't understand why you're doing this. I am hurting. Don't you see me here? I am begging you. But you can also say on the same hand, I know whatever you're doing is better. He doesn't want some fake prayer just to sound good because he knows your thoughts anyway. Just talk to him. Talk to him. Because the only way to get past that anger, the only way to, to heal, is to give it to him. How do you expect to give it to him if you're not even talking to him about it? So if you're angry right now, tell God you're angry. You know, I think there is a fine line between being angry and blasphemous, obviously. But if you're a child of God, God will fix that right quick. So, <laughs> um, but like, take it to him. Take your screams, take your cries, take your desperation and your panic and your panic attacks and your lostness and your shaky legs and take them all to him. Set them before him and see what he does with that anger.
He wants you right now. And what are you waiting for? <laughs> the second you bring it to him, the second he can take it off your shoulders. So I hope this helped somebody going through this. I will see you guys next time. Love you so much. Bye.